Today, I will be doing a drone survey on yet another landfill. The Smith Creek Landfill is just south of Port Huron, Michigan, and it has approximately 120 acres of land. I start my day at 8 a.m. with rain. Well, it's raining, but uh, hopefully when we get to the landfill, it'll be over. Yeah, it looks like 20 minutes from now, the rain will stop, so we should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the road. We got about 15 minutes until we get there, but I just realized I forgot my gear spikes. So we're gonna make a quick pit stop at a hardware store, get some spikes for our targets. All right, we're here at Ace. Let's get some gear spikes. Hi, do you guys have gear spikes? So there's four of those, or six dollars. These probably will work just fine. I'll just get two of these. That should cover us. All right. Okay, now that we got the gear spikes, we can head to the site. Hey look, the rain stopped. All right, just made it to the landfill. I'm gonna go inside, let them know we're here, and then uh, we'll get to work. Okay, just got done talking to Will. Uh, he is the site engineer, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and follow him into the landfill. So, let's go. All right, we got our first ground control point here and I'm gonna go ahead and record it using the ReachView 3 app. Uh, well, it looks like that target's destroyed, so we're going to need to go and set a new one. There we go. Head downhill here. It's where the control point is. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be way down there. All right, this will be fun.
now that we've collected all of our control points using our GNSS receiver, it's time to put this away and pull out our drone. All right, and we'll set the drone here and power it on. All right, I've gone ahead and planned out the mission. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the area of coverage that we have. Okay, all right, here is the polygon covering our entire site. We're flying at 70 meters above ground level at a speed of 6.9 meters per second. Our total flight time should be around 45 minutes. We'll go ahead and hit save. There we go, that looks very nice. We'll hit invoke. All right, and at the top, it says here that there is magnetic interference, which means that the drone needs to be calibrated. And so now we're going to head over to the drone and do what is known as the drone dance. All right, here we go. We're going to rotate with the drone. Then I'm going to flip it up like this and rotate again. And hopefully that... Oh, hold on, do it again. It wants me to do it again. Okay, perfect. And now the drone is calibrated. All right, everything looks good, and so now we're going to slide to execute. All right, there he goes. He's gonna head to the far northwest corner of the project, and uh, looks like it's gonna be a couple hundred feet away. And yeah, we'll just track it here on our controller. Here, the drone is flying its path. We can get a live view of the drone's footage. Very nice. All right, and that's it. We finished flying the drone. All right, now I've processed the data and I've uploaded it to the cloud, so let's take a quick look at it. Absolutely magnificent. You can zoom in here, see all the individual points. You can clearly see the terrain of the landfill. And viewing this data is really easy. And if you are interested in taking a look at this data set, click on the link in the description and it'll show you the point cloud for this project. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like and subscribe. If you guys wanna learn more about RTK drones, be sure to check out this top video. If you wanna see the last project I worked on, then check out this bottom video.